you can get them in your film. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I'd want to blur some of you out, but... Hey, how would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? She's a awesome. 10. 10. Absolute 10. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree that you have no bitches. Have a nice day, sir. You disagree that I have no bitches, so I have bitches. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Lucy, I'm sorry. That doesn't matter. Oh, I'd, I'd like to know. So I've talked a lot, so I just want to know how much... Oh, you want to know? Yeah. I've got, I got a few thousand. <laughs> A few thousand. A few thousand. It's, it's <laughs> oh my god. I get that. Take. Would you kiss me for a dollar? Nah. Would you kiss me for a dollar? No. Would you kiss me for a dollar? No. But would you kiss me for a dollar? Absolutely not. Would you kiss me for a dollar? No. Agitators? Sadly, yes. Yes, how, how do you feel about him? I do not like him. You don't like the top G? No. Why? Give me a reason. He's... Yeah, exactly. He's, he's, he's... She doesn't even know what she's talking about. They watch few out-of-context clips and make their assumptions over the... Hey guys, so me and my best friend are gonna do a video together today. Ready? We're gonna make a little TikTok, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hands on our hips. Okay, we're gonna do that. Fine, we can't. I just want to smooch before. before no. TikTok. Are you kidding no, me? Yeah, yeah, smooch. You think you give me a kiss on the lips? Just come here. Stop. Why? I want to kiss. Because you're my best friend. Nothing is worse than a desperate woman, and that's exactly what you just saw in these videos. Women getting rejected and desperate for some self-serving attention that is based on a history of entitlement. That's right. Women are entitled for no other reason other than being born female and that's what they bank on for the rest of their lives, thinking that men are born just to serve them and dedicate their entire lives for their well-being. You can see in the last of these videos how an entitled woman thought her best friend would kiss her back in a TikTok challenge where people try and kiss their best friends just to see if they kiss them back. Not only ID the guy not allow her to kiss him, he completely ignored her and kept rejecting her for like 30 seconds. While if the same thing happened with a woman, she would have pressed charges against him and sent him packing because he didn't stop when she said no. So there's always a certain sense of hypocrisy when it comes to these things and women's entitlement always comes to the front full circle. And in the first video, the woman says the guy ghosted her and didn't show up for their date. She then speaks to the camera and tells her audience that she totally dressed up for it and then proceeds to show a horrendous looking dress. I mean, seriously, women need to realize that they're not that great as they think they are. Their entitlement shows through the words they speak and the actions they take. I genuinely mean it when I say that the system wants you to accept less than you are entitled to, especially in the case of women. For many years, Men have been tricked into believing that women are some sort of reward just for being female. This has been highlighted more than ever before, especially in light of some philosophies that advocate for so-called women's empowerment. Men are becoming more and more tired of that, and they would rather choose an alternative road than follow unhelpful social norms. I'll talk about a few of the justifications they use to make you think that women are amazing in all that they do. Men in particular are being led to believe that women with baggage make for ideal romantic partners. Regardless of whether you identify as a man, you may have long since come to the conclusion that making excuses is unmanly and that you must put in the effort to achieve your goals. Your circumstances, history, or upbringing are irrelevant. You simply complete the task at hand. Except for your mother, the majority of women don't care about your troubles. Men must take it gradually and climb the success ladder one step at a time if they are to bear the burden of performance and output. Men who desire to excel in life rarely waste time on women instead choosing to concentrate on their projects. In fact, many guys are so dedicated to their craft that women are no longer relevant to them, which is a very good strategy. Another belief that society accepts but does not consider is that women can obtain any entitlements they desire, even if they do not merit them or have put as much effort into earning them as men have. It's almost as if women's entitlement is systematically promoted by society, giving free license to women to expect everything to be handed over to them without having to work for it in any way. 
The only qualification needed for this is that the person has to be female and all of society will completely ensure their full support. The fact that women feel entitled might be understandable from some aspects, but the fact that they feel too entitled, which means they feel entitled just because that's how it is, is the topic of discussion and debate here. And it is even more so because society has jumped on the woke feminist bandwagon that calls for equality in every aspect of life, and yet, still continues to support women to feel entitled to everything a man does, earns, and produces is just perplexing, to say the least. I hope that women realize the hypocrisy with which they live, expecting everything to be taken care of on one hand, and then marching the streets with banners for equality on the other. One thing is for sure, though. Manipulation is the primary tool that modern women have and use against men. They're used to it since their teenage years and will continue to use it till their last breath. They will try to use your emotions against you in order to fulfill their own wishes because as we all know, they feel entitled. They will try to manipulate you into buying them gifts, into being okay with them seeing other people, into moving closer to where they work, and into believing in whatever they want you to believe. There's no end to it. And it frequently succeeds with weak men. They are primarily chasing one thing, and they will put up with abuse solely for the sake of that one thing, which we all know, thus, they fall for the manipulative tactics of women, both intentionally and unknowingly. Therefore, it is best for males to keep their distance from such women who you are aware will exploit and manipulate you to fulfill the expectations that they feel entitled to. Even in today's so-called era of equity and equality, men are expected to do everything for them. It's almost as if they feel they're entitled to certain things from men. I mean, it starts from the very first interaction. When a guy and a girl see each other and like what they see, it's the man who's supposed to approach the woman. It's the man who's supposed to think of a way to get her attention while she plays hard to get it. She expects the man to approach her and expects him to come with compliments, gifts, a boat full of attention, desire, and lust for her. Then, it's the guy who's supposed to ask her out on a date. It's the guy who's supposed to figure out the perfect date, arrange everything, make sure he arranges the reservation, and then ensure he has a comfortable ride to pick her up and drive her around. Then, it's the guy who's supposed to pay for the date. It's the guy who's supposed to pay for the drinks, for the gifts, and for anything else. If he dares to ask if she can split the bill, he will be immediately judged as some miserly coward who wants a female to pay. After they've been to the date, it's the guy who's supposed to make the move and give her the first kiss. It's the guy who's supposed to make the move in bed and lead her, while the girl still plays hard to get, and yet, expects to be treated like royalty. I mean, the whole sense of entitlement starts from the very beginning for women. And it is because of this, Women are who are they and what they become whenever they're ignored, rejected, or not given the sort of response they're looking for when they make an advance toward a man, which you all witnessed even in the clips shared in the beginning. I always say this to guys, and I'll say this again. Leave women alone and focus on surrounding yourself with positive influences because one of the greatest obstacles for contemporary males to overcome in order to achieve in the world today is social engineering that's designed to glamorize women. Thanks for watching Manfulness. If you liked this video, hit the subscribe button and give us love by liking this video.